Okay, friends, I am eager, quite eager to get this box open. Uh, it came uh, a day late and uh, came this afternoon at a time that I was just about to leave to go over to the ark. And since I wanted to let it warm up, um, before I opened it, I wanted to let the shrimp in it acclimate. I went ahead and left it here on my counter for a little bit, and uh, which is the way you really should do it. <laughs> so uh, I do know that there isn't a heat pack in it uh, so that they would not get overheated, uh, or at least I think that's what Priscilla told me. Uh, this tape is formidable, so excuse me. Seam was off there, sorry. There we go, there we go. Uh, so this is from Swiss Aquatics, uh, our own fish fan, Priscilla. And uh, she's given me, uh, as she does every um, shrimp she sends out, uh, notice about the breather bags. So there we go. And I am aware of breather bags and how to manage them, but it's always great to have a reminder there I can't tell you, well, probably on one hand at least, but the number of times that I've uh, grabbed a breather bag and started to, and once actually put it in water. Uh, so, got another sticker, which is hers. I do have some of Priscilla's. You've seen them before. Uh, and on my main desk in the living room there, my main desk um, on that 33 gallon tank. And I also have one of uh, Jadron Aquatics. Oh, there are two from Priscilla. Two from Priscilla. Oh, she's so mean. I'll show you what she sent me here. And there's Priscilla's uh, SwissAquatics.com. So you can go on there and check out. Um, she's got other things besides shrimp, of course, on there. But uh, that's what I have gotten from her before. Sorry. And here's the cat back again. I just put her down three times. Look at this, guys. I want to make sure it's just the one. Not just the one, but I don't want to miss something back there. Check this out. Isn't that gorgeous? And this actually is the angel fish that I'm wanting to get. I see them on Get Gills, actually on Dan. Uh, Dan's uh, channel on there, Dan's Fish, Dan Hodnett, uh, and they're just gorgeous. But right now, I really need to hold off on getting me some. But I've got a tank to put them in and lots of room and all that, but it's not the right time right now. So let's get to the business of him. Uh, these are very, very, very well packed. They were in that. Uh, outer box you see and it's put in that sorry I'll fix that it's put in the uh, set down in the actual shipping box now you know what kind of coffee I, I drink and then I've got one dish in my sink <laughs> and a couple of forks to wash from uh, earlier today and I have moved my knife there it is out of the way so now we're back in business I need an assistant maybe I should let the cat up here uh, here we go here we go mm. this little box try not to stick that in too far uh, what um, frozen foods for some of you that don't know, are shrimp in, are shipped in, not shrimp in, and I save them sometimes to I'll buy a whole packet of a couple of these, and they're just easier to keep organized in the freezer uh, without having them go all over the place. And I think I've got three sides of it. Here's the fourth. I think Priscilla and Pam have an evil plot. 
and they're insulated inside even further and this is just a little bit damp let me get, get it over there a little damp but those of you that have shipped these guys before or have shipped in breather bags know that it can cause some condensation which is normal not a problem at all uh, they are cold pretty pretty cold I see movement uh, these says there are nine of the sub kissed oh and she put some sub suswasser tang in there girl she's so good to me uh, see if we see some movement yep 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 so oh yeah they're all alive they're doing great much better for shrimp guys sorry Dharma, please don't let people see you get in trouble. She's not in these boxes. You can have the boxes. Yep, I see lots of shrimps moving. I don't see any that are not moving. So I'm gonna put this down in my um, handy dandy little bucket there. Right there. Daniel's getting in on action now, the hound. And let's see, here we go. That said there was nine in there. So, and the same thing, this just has a little, it's not even moisture, it's just a very mild condensation. So, sorry about the dogs. I don't wanna pause, I wanna keep going. And this has uh, seven, get it in the camera, Bob. Seven of the uh, sun-kissed orange. Oh wow, so that makes uh, nine, like 15. I only ordered 10, I think. 10 or a dozen, 10. Oh wow, she set me up, guys. And Willow Mouse. I don't have any Willow Mouse. I had some and I let my, uh, uh, I put some of these algae eaters in it. I did, I really did. And they, they ate the algae, but they also ate my Willow Mouse. So I won't do that again. And I'm gonna lay them in the bucket. And I hope that hope that's oh, she's been so generous. Thank you, Priscilla. And I really, really, really appreciate that. Uh, the the Wasser Tang and the Willow Moss. And I think I got three to five extra shrimps. And they were all moving in the second bag too. I was so excited over everything in there and their rubber band bless you bless you daughter uh, I hate to cut them I hate to cut them so yeah guys you don't want to put these down in the water because it will suffocate whatever is in there pretty pretty quick not immediately I mean if you forget and drop a bag in you can grab it back out no problem but yeah these guys look great in here too I needed some more orange I've got orange you guys know but I'm going to do another tank and add to the gene pool all right guys this is eight almost nine minutes appreciate you and I think Dharma is over here I'll let Dharma close this out there's Dharma over there with all the pro I was on Miss Holly Carruth too all the projects I've got lined up there to do this afternoon. So you girls can come on over and get on the box, get in the box, whatever you want to do. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Please give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this foolishness.